Welcome back. The winner of yesterday's poll is this Mold King Speed Champion Scale set. It's the Hoonigan uh, Ford Mustang, classic Mustang from 1965. So yeah, I have just cut the seal so I can easily open it up for camera, but I've not looked at any of the contents inside yet. Uh, it's another one of those ranges with the uh, clear case box, so part of a huge collection that they do. I think it's a really neat idea so you can collect them uh, and store them all neatly. Um, so yeah, just got to slowly get through the range of, of building the whole whole collection. Bane of my life, I hate stickers, but uh, yeah, there's lots of those to apply. Looks like they're all single stickers rather than sort of one giant sticker that overlaps several bricks, which is at least a bit better. Um, but this is the kind of model that, you know, the car in real life is logoed up to hell. So, you know, it, it works quite well. Um, yeah, as long as the branding doesn't look too wrong. Uh, it's got like the monster logo and stuff like that, if not the name. It says Mustang on it. So yeah, a lot of those stickers I'd be happy to apply. Very well packaged. That's the base for the case. And when it's like that, the box gets delivered all you know, all intact. It's not crushed because it's nice and strong inside. So it's just a, such a neat idea. So yeah, we've got five bags to get through. This shouldn't take too long to do. So yeah, let's uh, clear the table and get this built. See you on the other side.
guys all finished? 41 stickers, can you believe? I really hate stickers, but it really makes this piece because the car in real life is logoed up and for once they have got you know, the correct words on all the stickers. It's got you know, GoPro stickers, you got Hoonigan, you got Mustang, um, and it just works with the car. It just really works. Uh, really interesting build. I, I love some real details on it. So you've got lots of different chrome parts. So the detail in this rear spoiler, just with these little, what initially were like levers, all chromed. You've then got a roll cage on the inside. If I just pop that back piece off, you can see a roll cage fitted at the back there as well. Again, all chromed. So the back screen and the front screen all come off just with two studs each. You've then got chrome plate in here for the bumpers and side skirts that are all in chrome as well. Um, and that, that just works really well. I love the detail of the engine that pops out of the hood. So they've, they've really attempted to make a good job of this. And yeah, I'm really impressed. Um, I was a bit put off at the beginning when it comes just with like a basic six stud wide chassis and it, that's the only bit that's still visible underneath but everything else it's just that chassis is extended so it still sort of builds upon that which is uh, an unusual way of starting but um, yeah for a speed champions scale car I think it works really well I think Wheels need to be designed a little bit bigger, uh, as the, the trend is, that wheels get larger these days. But yeah, as with everything on this scale, all wheels are the same same size. But yeah, very impressed. For the money of about £15 delivered, it, 15 to £20, pounds, works really, really well. Comes with its own display stand as well so if I just secure that on its studs oh corners are a little bit fragile guys but you know it's always the way there we go so that's secure in place that then pops over it and then you've got a real collector piece gonna be dust free easy to clean and if I just get the Mercedes that was recently built on another build on the channel you can literally they have studs on them You can actually, oh, the bottom one's nicely connected, but yeah, you can actually stack them on top of each other to display. How cool is that? Really impressed. Manual, yeah, it's okay. You can see it's the size it is, so it fits in the same packaging with it. Um, but yeah, really detailed. Would have been better with larger images, but I love the idea that this all sits in a little tiny box. Um, and yeah, they've got it right here. They really have. So yeah, I'm gonna see which other sets uh, in this range I can get built. I have got some other ones still to build so other ones in this range I've got a McLaren Senna and a BMW M1 so far so there are many others in this range to collect which I shall get others and yeah I will open up polls for getting the others built and see what you would like to get built next Next on the channel 
there is not going to be another poll this week for a larger build as there is uh, another fake Lego set that I will be building for the rest of this week. I do hope to get that video out by the end of the week. Um, you really do seem to like the, uh, the builds of those. So again, it is a larger Technic set. Um, a little bit of a twist to this one, so stay tuned and keep watched. Um, but yeah, I shall see you on the next video. Thanks, uh, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.